As I stepped onto the deck of the SS Titan, my heart raced with excitement. This was going to be an incredible adventure. A chance to relax on the open seas and enjoy all that a luxury cruise had to offer. As we set sail, everything seemed perfect. The sun shone brightly, the waves were calm, and the other passengers seemed just as excited as I was. Little did I know, however, that within days our world would be turned upside down by an unimaginable horror. It wasn't until the third day of our journey that things began to go terribly wrong. We were woken from our slumber early that morning by a loud screeching noise coming from somewhere outside our cabin. At first I thought perhaps there was some sort of maintenance happening on the ship, but as soon as I opened my door I knew something was very wrong. The hallway was filled with chaos. Passengers were running back and forth, their faces pale with fear. Some were bleeding profusely, others were covered in strange marks. They didn't look like they could even speak, so I followed them silently, trying to figure out where everyone was rushing off to. Eventually, we found ourselves standing before the bridge. There, pinned against one wall, was Captain Taylor. He looked ashen, his eyes staring blankly ahead. A group of passengers crowded around him, whispering frantically to each other. One of them pointed towards the window which overlooked the darkened ocean below us. And then I saw it. In the distance, the outline of a massive ship emerged from the darkness. At first, I couldn't make sense of what I was seeing. But as it got closer, it became apparent that the ship was none other than the long-lost S-Titan. For months now, news outlets had been speculating on what happened to the ship when it went mysteriously missing. No one had heard any word since. To think that here in front of me was the very same ship was nothing short of surreal. My heart thumped wildly in my chest, wondering if anyone on board was still alive. Just as quickly as it appeared, the Titan came alongside as the last of the lifeboat drifted away. I took stock of my situation. I was alone on a deranged ship filled with grotesque abominations of what were once humans, trapped in the middle of the ocean with no hope of rescue. Panic threatened to take hold but I reminded myself that hysteria wouldn't solve anything. Instead, I focused on finding a safe place to hide. Making my way through the corridors, I noticed the walls were covered in strange markings etched deep into the paint. Upon further inspection, I realized that these weren't random scratches, but rather symbols and equations scribbled haphazardly across every surface. As my fingers traced along the lines, I remembered my old college courses in advanced biology and genetic engineering. Suddenly, everything clicked together. These markings were the key to unlocking the secret behind the Titan's creation. With renewed determination, I resolved to put an end to whatever sinister experiments took place within the depths of this cursed vessel. My search led me to a lab, located in the bowels of the ship. Inside, I discovered equipment more suited to a mad scientist's laboratory than a luxury cruiser's cargo hold. Jars containing mutated fish samples, preserved organs of hybrid creatures, and notes referencing a project known only as Project Kraken, gave credence to my theory that the ship served dual purposes, both for pleasure travel and undercover research and development of lethal aquatic bioengineering weapons. Despite the risk of encountering something worse than the grotesque passengers patrolling the decks above, 
I pressed forward with a newfound sense of urgency to stop this atrocity from reaching landfall. Perhaps in doing so, I might save humanity from another disaster. Upon entering the lab, my worst nightmare unfolded. Row upon row of large glass tanks bubbled with murky green liquids harboring monstrous forms resembling a crossbreed of octopus and squid. The room reverberated with muffled cackles, echoing the voice of a maniacal genius responsible for this Frankie shipwreck that claimed over 1,500 lives during a catastrophic collision in 1912. Many believe that a powerful curse was placed upon the vessel that fateful night due to the negligent actions of her crew who failed to warn nearby ships about iceberg warnings received via wireless telegraphy. That fatal decision ultimately spelled doom for those on board the unsinkable arms Titanic. Could Project Kraken have played a role in awakening or summoning malevolent forces connected to the original tragedy? The mere possibility sent shivers up my spine while also providing some clarity regarding the nature of the creature lurking within the Titan Eye's depths. Ironically, salvaging technology from the original ship helped power this new horror, creating a macabre twist that defies logic or explanation. It seems the Titan never truly rested and has returned to claim vengeance, albeit in an unexpected form. The sheer audacity of reviving a monster feared extinct is beyond comprehension. Forced to confront my own mortality and the cruel reality that I may not escape this nightmarish predicament, I am left questioning why anyone would dare meddle with such dangerous knowledge. What hubris drives humankind to delve into forbidden realms better left undiscovered? Is this retribution for past misdeeds? committed beneath the sea, or simply the latest example of scientific arrogance gone unchecked. If I manage to survive this ordeal, will society ever learn the true cost of dabbling in such matters best left undisturbed? These thoughts race through my mind as I brace myself for the final battle. May God have mercy on my soul for I won't find solace elsewhere on this watery grave. The Titan's journey across the Atlantic toward Europe, the truth of its transformation emerges. The mysterious Dr. Khalil and his shadow organization, Aquagen Technologies, sought to develop biosynthesized superweapons capable of unimaginable destruction. Their ultimate goal Reshaping global balance through the mastery of marine, based biological warfare agents, the enigmatic doctor had somehow managed to clone and reanimate the Kraken using fragments of DNA collected from remains found within deep sea vents surrounding the titanic wreckage site hoping to weaponize the ancient beast and gain control over the world's most vital resources. This revelation sparks a deeper understanding of my own purpose and the reason for my selection as part of the supposed advisory council. A pawn amidst the dark aspirations of unseen puppeteers pulling strings to unravel civilization itself. I realize now how foolish it was to trust their promises of wealth and accolades without proper vetting. Greed can cloud rational judgment faster than any tidal wave crashing against a sinking vessel. All roads lead back to human avarice and the innate desire to rule the world even if it means destroying it in the process. How ironic that it takes facing death aboard a namesake cruise liner bound for the bottom of the sea to fully grasp our flawed nature. 
As the submerged craft approaches European waters, the full extent of Aquagen's plans becomes clear. They mean to use the revived Kraken to trigger natural disasters and cause mass casualties in densely populated coastal areas, weakening nations economically and politically before launching a full-scale military coup. This horrifying plan requires the perfect scapegoat to distract attention away from themselves. Can they succeed by framing a rogue climatologist wrongfully accused of sabotaging critical infrastructure throughout Europe, making him appear complicit in their diabolical scheme? Only time will tell whether the veins of deceit pulsating through history repeat themselves leaving yet another trail of innocent victims in the aftermath of senseless aggression. Unaware of the threat lurking below, as we navigate these treacherous waters, an eerie calm blankets the ocean, as though the very essence of life holds its breath in anticipation of what lies ahead. Will humankind once again fall prey to its own ambition? allowing fear to blind us from recognizing warning signs along the way. Today marks a defining moment in our collective narrative, one where we must acknowledge that progress often comes at a price. But the path to enlightenment must evolve from our ability to transcend selfish desires rather than submit to them. We cannot continue down this perilous road, ignoring lessons gleaned from past mistakes and sacrifices paid by countless individuals. History serves both as a guidepost illuminating the correct path forward and a cautionary tale warning against repeating errors of the past. In conclusion, let us heed the wisdom of hindsight honed by centuries of trials and tribulations, remembering that our fate lies squarely in our hands and hearts. By standing together instead of allowing division and strife to fragment societies, we strengthen the cord binding humanity to a brighter tomorrow. With unity as our anchor, let us navigate the unfathomable depths of the future guided by hope, kindness, and love, elements more powerful than any technological innovation conceivable, especially when set adrift amongst the whirlpools and maelstroms threatening to consume us all. The letter ends there, serving as a final message from the author before meeting whatever end awaited him leaving behind words of caution and encouragement in equal measure. Its contents offer insight into the workings of the shadowy corporation, highlighting the devastating consequences of pursuing science. Without consideration for morality or empathy for others, the letter challenges readers to reflect upon their individual roles in determining the course of events impacting everyone around them, reminding us to strive towards something greater and nobler than mere self-aggrandizement. For just $3 a month, you can have your name featured in my YouTube videos and descriptions. Not only will you be supporting my channel, but you'll also be immortalized in the credits of my content. If you're looking for something a bit more personalized, consider becoming a $25 a month patron. I'll voice your stories and bring them to life on my channel. Create a special drawing just for you, or even write a unique story tailored to your interests. So don't hesitate. Join my patron community today and help me keep the spooky stories coming. And remember, together we can save each other from the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support.